country. All right, let, let's move quickly to education. And uh, <laughs> perhaps for eight to nine months in this country, there is a group of uh, people within the education sector that were not happy. They are the ASU. Um, we have the immediate past investment secretary of ASU, Mr. Ben Igeoke. Uh, he has a question for the flag bearers of the PDP. Your Excellencies, good evening, and thank you, Okivaloye, for the opportunity. Your Excellency has been talking about increasing funding allocation to education. That's quite heartwarming. Currently, we are operating less than 6% budgetary allocation to education in Nigeria, which is the lowest in Africa and for a country that wants to develop. Because you have said already that education is the bedrock of national development or nation building. Could you just tell Nigerians that you will take it to so and so point, considering the UNESCO benchmark that they give from time to time? All right. That's question one. No, you have one. <laughs> you have one opportunity for one. We have all the sectors. So please, can you go ahead? Um, sure. What I said is that I'm going to increase uh, the funding level uh, as against what is currently uh, obtained. No doubt about that, because I am a firm and committed believer in, in education. And secondly, I have undertaken to say, all right, uh, as you, we know whatever backlog we know we are going to clear all the backlogs and make sure that you go back you know to classes and students go back to school but then uh, there are sometimes in invisible roadblocks you see when the federal government releases money for the university it doesn't go straight to the universities. It goes to another federal bureaucracy. And that federal bureaucracy may decide to do whatever they want before they send the money to the individual universities. I think that's a bottleneck. Why not remove the bottleneck? Whatever is due to university A, B, C, D, send it direct. I was giving an example uh, last time when I had to uh, discuss this issue. I said, when I was vice president, I visited several embassies. I found all the staff not paid for several months. I even visited Togo, where is the headquarters of ECOWAS. Every West African country has a building and staff quarters for as poor as they may be. But Nigeria didn't have a founding member of ECOWAS. I came back, I called the Minister of, I mean, of Finance. I said, what's happening? Let's do something different. She said, well, let's ask every embassy to give us their budget. And when they give us their budget, we don't send the money through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We send the money straight to the embassies. And that immediately eliminated the backlog of all the salaries that they were owing to our staff abroad. But then the ministry didn't like it. They kept on fighting. So you, sometimes you, you have to really be bold enough to change some of the processes or procedures that are currently obtained you know, in the public service you know, to get service delivered to where they should be delivered. Um, I was told of a story where, of course, some funding for universities were stalled. At NUC. NUC, what do you want to operate so much? Okay, universities, what do you want to operate so much? You give them direct. Why do you have to go through uh, NUC? Of course, as I said, I pledge to increase, you know, the funding of education. Uh, as far as our budgetary cons uh, uh, you know, is concerned. Certainly, we are not even meeting uh, you know, our counterparts in West Africa. 
They may be poorer than we are, but we are not spending as much as far as the educational sector is concerned.